How's it going everybody? Um, today I'm going to show you my homemade e-bike. Um, this e-bike was made using the 18650 batteries uh, that I found for $1.25 for sale. Uh, they work really well and it makes it a very powerful, capable device. And I'll show you some of the steps I took to make it and how it all comes together. So I got quite a few of these battery packs. These are the 18650, um, the $1.25 for sale battery packs. And they're all pretty dang nice. They have built-in battery management systems, they have the XT60 connector, uh, everything's pretty dang good on these guys. Uh, I've tested these thoroughly, they all work great, um, I've gotten really good results, and I went ahead and I put some shrink wrap on them, so I have about seven packs right here that I went ahead and shrink wrap. Uh, the shrink wrap just fits along this way on the battery pack, this would be a lot longer, but I already used most of the, the shrink wrap, so this is all I got left, but yeah, you just take a hair drying iron and you just uh, heat up the sides and heat up the middle and the entire thing will become encapsulated in this really, really um, short resistant shrink wrap. So it feels really great. It feels a lot safer than just using a bare cell. These guys, if they didn't have this paper on, I'd be a little bit worried about short circuits. But all in all, these cells are great. Um, I've been able to put about eight of these in my, ba or my battery pack for my e-bike. I'll go ahead and show you the e-bike in just a second, but uh, I've been able to get really, really good range, about 60 miles on a charge. These guys are about 158 watt hours a piece, so for the price, you can't do much better. All right, so this right here is my e-bike. Uh, it's got an 850 watt motor on it. It's got, like I said, eight of those battery cells, so it's over one kilowatt hour of battery storage. Uh, if you look here, I have a twist throttle right there. So what you do to power it on is just press this red button right here, and then it has power. And you can just simply pull the trigger. Let's jerk forward. Uh, this thing is really powerful. I'll go ahead and show you me riding in just a minute. But I just wanted to show you up close the different parts of it. I also have a little flashlight attachment. It's got a really, really bright LED flashlight on it. It's got one of those 18650 batteries. Uh, these flashlights are really cheap. You can find it somewhere for about $2. I'll try to find you a link for that. Um, what I did is I attached most of the batteries inside of this little area right here. So right there I have six batteries. Um, I'll attach a link for this guy. This It's like $10, $12 holder that attaches directly to your frame. And also I have the um, electronic speed controller and all of the circuitry as well as a couple more batteries and a charger inside of here. And I guess I'll go ahead and show you that. Um, also below you can see the uh, motor. So the motor down there is like I said, 850 watt motor, uh, 36 volt. So it connects directly to our system, the 36 volt system. Uh, so I'll go ahead and open this little pack right here. So inside of here you will see I've kind of tried to waterproof it as much as possible. Uh, I got a little plastic bag over a lot of the circuitry. Let me show you that. So here is inside. I'll talk to you a little bit about how I set this up. So inside of here, you will see a couple different things. First off, you will see the charging port. I 3D printed this guy. It uses a standard um, audio jack type style, the one that locks into place. And this will just click directly into here. And that's connected through an XT60 cable right here. And this wires directly to the system. Uh, it's able to, if you can kind of see in there, you got the um, speed controller device right here. Uh, we also have our charger. I actually just kind of put some styrofoam around the charger right here, and I just had our standard outlet cable. And this can plug in directly. I can just close this off if I want to. Probably leave it open to get better air circulation for this guy. It's a 7 amp charger, so I can charge in about 4 hours. Uh, like I said, everything just plug and play. This guy connects up here. Uh, I can share the CAD file if you want me to for this little attachment. It's pretty nifty. It just screws into place here, and it's able to convert your XT60 to a more usable connector. 
Uh, like I said, I have a couple more batteries right here just to kind of extend some range. I had some extra space, so I threw them in there. But all in all, whenever you design an e-bike like this, what you're going to want to find is these kind of connectors. Um, these basically parallel all of your XT60 uh, cables from your batteries into one cable. This is really useful. This one can support up to six. Uh, you could also go ahead, if you don't want to buy those, you could buy these. These guys simply attach together like this, and you're able to connect more batteries. Uh, these are like a dollar or two a piece, or I think I got this one for about 10 to $12. This big one here, I just got, I looked on eBay, I was able to find a pretty good deal for that, so I ended up using mostly just this, as well as a couple of these guys in here for the extra batteries. So, uh, yeah, this is my e-bike. Uh, like I said, here is the motor, uh, 850 watts, pretty powerful. It really climbs really well. I'll go ahead and show you some footage of me riding that, but all in all, I really like my e-bike. It does a really great job. Um, these batteries are great for it. I was able to get a really great deal, and I'll show you me riding it. More details on this motor and system. It averages about 20 miles an hour and that means we can ride for about about three hours with a 60 mile range uh, which allows for a, a good overall range to power ratio. Uh, it climbs hills like a champ. It's able to really just cruise up uh, with the instantaneous torque and power from an electric motor. You're able to see really pretty good results and I've had a lot of fun with it.